In this video, I want to talk about doing niche research or niche research, depending on how you care to pronounce it, the wrong way. And sadly, this is the way that most newbies approach niche research. And sadly, it's also the way that some so-called gurus tell you how to do it. OK, the first thing that you're recommended to do is to pick an evergreen niche. Now, what do I mean by evergreen? Well, I mean things like weight loss, fitness, dating, get your ex back, sports, particularly sports that require a lot of money to be spent on them, sports like golf, uh, where there's lots of expensive equipment to buy and there's lots of uh, tutorials and all that other sort of stuff. And of course, internet marketing or make money online. So you're starting out, you don't know anything at all, but you think that you're going to uh, go into the internet marketing niche. So you can make money by telling other people how to make money, by telling other people how to make money. So you sell stuff online about making money online, and that makes money online, and the whole thing goes round and round and round. So you think, or so you're told to think. And so what these people do, or what most newbies do, is they'll go to the Google Keyword Planner and they'll find out what keywords get the most searches. Because they figure that if it's a popular niche, if it's a popular topic, if there's more searches, then they're going to make more sales. You know, there's a million searches for this particular keyword, so if only 1% of people buy my product for $9.99, well, you do the math. So they look through sites like Amazon or ClickBank to find which niche has the most products to sell. And of course, the more expensive that product is or the higher the commission is on that product, the better because they're just looking at it from a money-making perspective. They think it's all a numbers game. The more I can sell at the higher commission, then obviously the more profit I'm going to make, which is true to a certain extent. But you had to do it properly and this way is not the proper way to do it next thing that they'll do is they'll buy a domain name that has nothing to do with the niche you know bobswebsite.com or something similar because they figure well if it doesn't work out we can always use it for something else then they'll buy some PLR articles, or better yet, they'll get them for free, copy and paste it and put it straight up into their WordPress blog without any changes whatsoever. Then they've probably got a coupon from Google AdWords that gives you so much free traffic, so they'll use that to drive some traffic uh, to the website using those really popular keywords that they use the Google Keywords tool to find in the first place not realizing that once the uh, amount of money that's on the free coupon has run out, they're going to be faced with a massive bill because these keywords are going to be very expensive. But they set all that up and then they fail miserably. They lose a ton of money and they get disheartened and they give up. And probably worse than that, they come to the feeling that everybody involved in IM is a crook and that the whole thing is a big con. And it's not hard to understand why they feel that way. Now, before we go any further, let me just state one thing for the record before people think, hang on a minute, what about evergreen niches? Well, there's nothing wrong with an evergreen niche, but most are oversaturated. These are the niches that lots of people want to get into and lots of people are already in them. And the leading players in these niches are very well established. You've got people who've been in IM for many, many years. They've got massive lists. They've got all sorts of websites out there. They're up on the top of Google for practically every keyword because they've been there for so long, they know how to play the system. And the keywords in these niches are fiercely competitive. Again, because it's so oversaturated and because the leading players have been there for so long, then there's a lot of competition to get the really good keywords that are going to get you to the top of Google. And the AdWords for these particular niches are very expensive for the same reasons. So if you're trying out this way, if you're starting out this way, then, well, quite frankly, 
you're setting yourself up to fail. And you know, so many people do this. So many people think that this is the way to do it. So many people are told that this is the way to do it. And it's all completely wrong. 